we to believe that as part of the conspiracy theory that somehow they rubbed makeup all over his shirt and pulled his tail through the thing and somehow they manipulated all those phone documents? Sharon Sanchez, ladies and gentlemen, she was absolutely overmatched here. She, she didn't have money. She's from Ripley. She doesn't have the education that this guy has. And here she comes in the debt. So she stumbles into his office to make an application to have a job. And here she comes and here this guy, this smooth talking guy, using the office, using the people's office, Madison County, to lure women for a crime for And what does he do? He's got money. He's got power. He's sophisticated. He's educated. She fell in love with the guy. Why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't she? Then she realized how sick of a relationship it was because she realized she's not the only one. She realized he has a wife. She realized he's just a manipulator, just a smooth talking manipulator. And then she's trying to get out of it, but then he starts to threaten her. He threatens her with being transferred. He threatens her with drug tests. He writes her up for making personal phone calls, which were probably to him. She was trapped. How can you trust Beaver on JPD? How can you trust anybody with Shelby County? Where does she turn? She didn't know what to do. She was trying to protect herself. Did she go about the right way? Who knows? Who knows what a person does in that kind of a situation? 